Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking about combat gauze and demonstrating the skill. Alright everybody, let's get started. So this is going to be our combat gauze. So this is what an actual packaging looks like. So it's usually black. It's very airtight sealed um, and it comes like this on the ambulance. For class, this is going to be our training. It's blue, it's not airtight, and there's a little um, zipper right here on the bottom that we can open it. So once you open up this one, you're just going to open it up like this. Rip it open. So for these, we're gonna open up the bottom. And the comp, the quick cloth, the combat gauze, comes in a Z fold. So kind of like tissue boxes. If you pull it up, it's just gonna unravel on itself. So these are impregnant with a hemostatic agent that promote coagulation. This blue line right here is x-ray detectable. It is radiographic. So when a patient goes into the x-ray, medical professionals can see how deep the combat gloss was placed and where the bleeding is and all that good stuff. All right, everybody, so we're going to be doing the combat gloss skill. Um, so this is going to be on a life-threatening hemorrhage in the trauma patient when the tourniquet cannot be used or, or to supplement the tourniquet. So just like any other wound, you're going to go ahead and um, control the bleeding with direct pressure. So after three minutes of direct pressure and the wound continues to bleed, I'm gonna go ahead and have my partner maintain direct pressure while I get the combat gauze ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the combat gauze out. And then, so I'm gonna open this up and then I'm gonna go ahead and locate the source of the bleeding. So it's gonna feel something like a hose with a little knack in it and the water's coming out. So I'm gonna look for something similar to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick my finger in there. I'm gonna find the bleed and I'm gonna leave my finger in there. And then I'm gonna take my other hand and then where my finger was, I'm gonna replace it with my second finger. And I'm just gonna keep alternating fingers until I pack the wound full. So I'm never gonna let go of my finger on that bleed. All right, once the wound is full, I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of the combat gauze and I'm gonna hold direct pressure for three minutes. After three minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and take my bandage and wrap it around the patient. Like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the combat gauze and place it right there so that the medical professionals know that a combat gauze has, has been placed on this patient. And then after, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a pressure bandage by twisting 90 degrees, going around, so it maintains direct pressure. So it's nice and tight. I'm gonna go ahead and twist again and secure it with the pins or whatever you guys have or tape. And that's it for your combat gauze skill.